Hi, Hiram here. I was really surprised at the number of people that wanted to see this axe can stove uh, test. Fish Wolf SBK even went and did a video on his. I'll put a link to it at the end of this video, and if I don't, if I forget to, I'll put it in the text area. But you should go and see his version of this. I thought what I'd do here today is start with my first test that I usually do, trying it with two cups of water. Now the chances of this working to getting two cups of water to boil is probably, you know, far and few between. But I have to try it. What I have here is this is the one ounce sample size, I think, of an axe can of axe. It's some sort of a deodorant. You can get other ones like Old Spice, but this is a little bit smaller can. This is only a 0.75 ounce size, but this is a one ounce size. Now what I have in here is one ounce of denatured alcohol. I was able to fit it in. Now the can has eight eighth inch holes, one quarter inch down from the top of the can. Now I've done this before but not with so much alcohol so I have to see I hope that this will start up you have to get the alcohol good and hot so that uh, it starts to vaporize right now it's setting at about 91 degrees room temperature right now is 74 I don't think this would take off. Another thing that I could try with this is to put a uh, starter pan or whatever you want to call it underneath this with some alcohol so that it heats it up on the outside, heats up the alcohol. Not a very big flame there. Now there does seem to be some confusion. I'm just using up time here now. There does seem to be some confusion on these kind of stoves. Like, you know, the one that I did, this one that I used, you put alcohol in it, but then when you put the stove on top, the flames come out the holes. It's not so much that it's burning on the inside. It steams or vaporizes the alcohol and shoots the flame and the alcohol out the holes and it's actually burning on the outside. Uh, if I can find a piece of tempered glass or something, maybe I don't think it would be tempered glass, but if I can find some kind of glass to put over the top of this so that the flames will shoot out, then I can videotape it from the top and we can see what happens in there. But I really don't think that it does much burning on the inside. Okay, this alcohol is starting to boil priming pan, that was the word I was trying to think of. We'll let this go just a little bit more. Now there are the weight on this, as it sets right here, the can is 8 grams or 0.25 ounces or 0 0.016 pounds. That's about as light a container as I think you can find for a stove, to make a stove out of. One of the drawbacks of this is it's such a narrow diameter, you really got to be careful with putting the pot on it so it doesn't tip. But it can be done. I've already boiled with this, small amounts. You just have to be careful. Okay. It looks like it's going there. Have to see if it's going good enough. So what I'll do now is you take the pan and lower it down over the stove so the flames come out. Hopefully I'm not going to put it out because of the cold water. Okay, now there is the flames did come out they come out quite a bit here, but as soon as I put the pot on it, it cools it down. There are flames still there. So 
So I think I'm going to let this continue on its way. So we'll see how this goes, see where it goes from here. Okay, there we have 210, 211, 212 at 1326, 13 minutes and 26 seconds. Okay, now this brought two cups of water to a boil. Uh, oh, I didn't write down what the temperature was. I'll have to look back on the video. But I had to kind of nurse this a bit. When I, went, when I put the pot on the burner, the flames went down and almost died out. So I had to you know, lift it and finagle with it until it got warm enough that when I put the pot on, it stayed, the flames stayed. So now what we'll do is I'll let this run until the alcohol runs out and let's see what happens. Maybe by putting one fluid ounce of alcohol in here, I didn't need that much. And it takes it, it makes it much harder to heat up the alcohol so it vaporizes if I have that much in there. So what I'll do now is just let this run out. Okay, and there it's going at 2446. 24 minutes and 46 seconds. We had run out. Hmm, that's interesting. So we did actually get two cups of water starting at a, somewhere in 56, 57, 58, whatever. I'll look back on it. But uh, I did get two cups of water to boil using this axe stove. I had a lot of time here to think about it while I was waiting for it to run out. Wrote a couple of notes here. Things I might try, maybe just do this again with only a half ounce of alcohol. With the fluid ounce the alcohol was up just a little bit below the hole so it didn't give much vapor area then when I put the stove on there it just cooled off the vapor and stopped it from burning if I only put a say a half ounce it might be down here and would make all of this a vapor area and maybe it wouldn't be so touchy another thing is if I put only a half ounce of alcohol in it I could lower these holes some that would help uh, the other thing I was thinking about is if I put a ring of maybe carbon felt or something on the top of this to act as an insulator, maybe that would keep it burning. But, hmm, it did, like I said, it did boil the two cups of water in the end. Took a little finagling, but I got it there. Uh, oh yeah, this is where I'm going to remind you. Fish Wolf SBK has a video. I'll put a link for it up here. You should be able to hit on that and go to his and see what the test that he did. And so I look forward to your input, your questions, remarks, helpful suggestions like this one. And as always, watch from my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. And that's in the second thing.